Sedges, you are now really deciding that you are to discipline yourself and head for a new career and a new legacy. So Sagittarius are officially changing their legacy, but they're going to do it by first changing what they make themselves do. So Sages are also slave drivers. They make themselves do it. They're Virgo conscious, anal retentive about getting it done. And I've seen, I've seen a Sagittarius go from drunk at a party at four to at work at 8 a.m. Okay. That is Virgo in the first decade of the 10th house. That's impressive. Right. And that's two nights in a row. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh, so you are now going to rewire, you know, that sort of, uh, you know, I don't know, bitter nun or priest over you that is crossing its arms over you and making you, making you do it. And you're going to re-archetize what you become as far as a slave driver or a, you know, a bully, or maybe pushing too hard or maybe taking on too many things. These are other ways that you can sort of abuse your responsibility to the world. And you're going to rewire that and no longer become, you know, this slave driver or whatever to yourself, right? When it comes to career legacy or children, got to say children come into this too. being a good father, being a good mother. I got to be because my parents weren't okay. Maybe you are though already. Maybe it's enough. Maybe the kids are happy. Now the counter side of this is your home and family. It's interesting because Sages also came from a bad home and family guaranteed. All their karma comes from family. It doesn't anyone, everyone's karma come from family. Yes. But Sages, it's more than not. That's why they're kind of lucky in society because they don't run into many foes in society. They put them all in one house. They call it home. <laughs> so you're healing, you know, and letting go of your emotional pain, your drama, the stuff you've had since childhood. And because you're letting go of that, it's freeing your choices because you were making those choices based on avoiding it happening again. And now you can make those choices on feeling at peace and feeling centered in yourself. So this is the dynamic of Pisces and Virgo. The more you are forgiving of yourself and your feelings, the more you let those feelings go, let the anger go, let this go, let that go. Then you actually will have open eyes to make the right choices of who you want to become to yourself and then who you end up becoming once you go into your legacy and your career. You'll become a whole different person in the office when you're a new person to yourself. And I know you're already the light, you're already the light of the party, but you're not actually sharing with the world who you really are. We know it, by the way, just saying. <laughs> You've been hiding stuff. You've been playing the part perfectly. Now, Jupiter in this whole thing happens with relationships. Sagittarius are huge relationship people. They love everybody. And you have a lot of thinking about how relationships should go. But you're thinking about how relationships should go was all based on avoiding your parents, avoiding your family, avoiding your pain. So your laws of relating are outdated. You're getting new thoughtware on how to relate. You're sort of officially joining a dating app, according to Jupiter. <laughs> so, so this has to be uh, tied into your emotional growth and being open and easy. Don't let your relationships get in the way of your career. Don't let your career get in the way of your relationships. It's serious job.